Hey, hey. Today's video is going to be all about my spare drill storage. And then I'm specifically talking about my square drill spares. So I don't keep the round ones. I don't keep them all. I do keep a few because I have done a little side project before where I decorated the birdhouse, but I'm not planning on doing that again. So the, the round drills from Diamond Art Club I do try to save, but all the other ones I just throw away because I'm not going to be using them for anything. But my square drills I do keep. Um, I have actually four of these boxes, which are all filled and we're going to get into. Um, I used to keep all the spare um, square drills that I had when I finished a kit or when I decided to not want to do a kit anymore. And when I first started diamond painting, I bought quite a few of AliExpress kits and along the years when I learned more about licensing and all that kind of stuff. I decided on most of them that I didn't want to do them anymore and if I didn't have anyone in my uh, family and friends that wanted that painting then I just threw the canvas away and kept the drills where I didn't have a lot of yet so that's why I have a quite an extensive stash of spare drills which did come in, come in handy when I did my cross stitch conversion and will come in handy for my next project. But we're going to be talking about that a little bit later. First, I'm going to go into my actual system, which I just finished a few weeks ago, by the way. <laughs> uh, as you can imagine, it takes a long time to, to get this all organized and made up the cards and all that kind of stuff. So what I did is, I'm just going to take out one, I cut all these cards out of um, cardboard it's just yeah cardboard <laughs> um, and i bought a set of dmc stickers so they are the actual color sort of of the drill that is number 300 in this case so that actually is also nice so you can already see when you're looking for one what color it is um, I must say they don't all match <laughs> um, some of the colors on the stickers I was like that's not that color <laughs> that's not supposed to be that color but most of them are pretty okay <laughs> and I suppose it doesn't matter that much it's just a nice little detail um, but I did that so cut all the things put all the stickers on and then I put them in yeah, in order the um, I also put this in between. It's just a little, yeah, something I made. I didn't want to spend a lot of money or a lot of time <laughs> making this uh, this stuff. So I just got some just regular paper, folded it three times and then put some tape on it to make it a bit sturdier. But still, it's pretty flimsy, but... That doesn't matter if it's in here and I hope I'm, yes, I'm going to get it back in easily um, because it's just here to separate the rows, of course. It doesn't really have to be very sturdy. Um, yeah, so that was the first thing I did and I'm mostly using these baggies, just the cheap thin ones you also get when you finish, for example, a Diamond Art Club kit with the red line in here. I do also have a few different ones, for example this one, this is a clear one, I got that with a kit as well, and yeah, for the drills that were already in there, <laughs> I wasn't going to be changing them all over to this same bag, because it doesn't matter that much to me, but when I get new ones now, I do put them in the bags, this bags with the red line on it, so then I put a little sticker on here as well with the DMC number and I also put a little cardboard thingy in the bag as well just so that they don't flop over like this that's annoying so I also cut these out all the same size and put them in as well to keep the bags standing upright 
This is, for example, a color that I have only one bag of, but there are a lot in there where I have multiples of, try to find one. Yes, for example, over here, this is a good example. You can totally see this one is a very different dye lot than this one is. I think that one is actually the more correct one, the, more, the one that most companies use, but I still decided to keep this one because there are a lot in here. <laughs> so if I ever need a lot, I still have this one. Now I'm going to try to find an example of something else that I do. Yes, this is what I was looking for. Sometimes for some companies I really like the drill quality of and if it's a company where I'm getting from where I do like the drill quality of then I also put I don't know if you can see that. I put um, the company over there as well. This one I, I wrote down Carrot. That's from Carrot Art, a German company. And, and this one, for example, is from Diamond Art Club. And I also write that down. Uh, up until now, these are the only two and Treasure Studios Art, which I write the company for. And there also has to be a substantial amount of drills for me to make an, um, uh, a separate bag for because when there's only like 50 drills left and the color matches I'm just going to put them in the generic bag but in this case if I ever need extras and if it's for example a diamond art clock painting where I have don't have enough drills off I know I'm going to go back to this one first so that's also what I wanted to say about that. And as I said, I have four of these boxes. <laughs> this is the first one. It starts at 150 and this one finishes at 645. Um, I try to keep it at this because this is the amount that fits in my closet <laughs> where I keep them. So I don't want to go over four boxes and I don't need to go over because this is plenty of extra drills. <laughs> Um, so if um, there comes a time when I'm de-kidding and when I have, for example, a full bag already, then I might just throw them away or throw this one away and fill up a new bag if I like the quality of the new ones that I'm de-kidding better. So that's my solution for that. Then I also have this box. This box is uh, for my special drills, my square drills. Um, it's not really spare drill storage, of course, because these are specials and I mostly bought them myself, but I still wanted to show you. I did a very similar thing with the paper thing with the tape around it. I'm not going to lift these up because these are, will be harder to put back in. And most of them are in these kind of bags. Um, they are a lot sturdier than the other ones are, so I didn't put the cardboard thingy in here. Also didn't put the DMC numbers in here because I don't have that many special drills, so I thought this would just be fine. But most of the drills that are in here are ABs. For example, these two colors which are very pretty. Um, I believe already two or three years ago, I bought a big batch off of AliExpress of just um, ABs, square ABs. And that's all that's left. I haven't used super many of those. I did use some, but when I start a new kit, a square kit, and I want to bling it up, I just go through DMC numbers and I see which ones I might want to use. Um, I also have a few smaller bags. I didn't put them in the, the big silver bags for number one. There aren't that many in there so I didn't want to waste, if you can call it waste, <laughs> a silver bag on those. But I also have different numbers in here 
this one is from Diamond Art Club, for example, and it doesn't matches the actual DMC number that I already have uh, drills of. So I didn't want to put that in there, and I also didn't want to make an extra bag of the same <laughs> DMC. And the third reason is because I just ran out of steam. This was the last thing I did when rearranging my spare drills, and I was just over it by the end of this. Just being honest. <laughs> I also have in here the uh, fairy dust that I sell in my Etsy shop as well. I have a bag of each of those myself too, because obviously I love fairy dust and I want to use them myself as well. So these are at the end here. Yeah, and that's about it. Um, I have also, for example, on these ones in here. I haven't, haven't actually used them. These are round, but they are supposed to fit the squares of, fit the size of a square drill grid. Um, so I yet have to come across painting where I can actually use these, but these are in here as well. Same goes for these ones. And I also have a little bit left of uh, fairy dust from a diamond art club kit, which is just here on the side. And yeah, that's all about this. And um, now I was also going to talk about what I do with my spare drills, what I use them for, because obviously I'm not saving them just for the fun of it, just to save them. <laughs> um, I did a heaven and earth design cross-stitch conversion project before, which is what I started saving my drills for in the first place. Um, it's If you're not familiar with I have another design cross-stitch, it's uh, basically a cross-stitch chart, chart that you uh, work up in the form of a diamond painting on a blank canvas. So you can do it off uh, just a piece of paper with the, what do you call it? The chart on there but uh, you can also use the app pattern keeper and then it yeah it shows you on the app just where all the drills need to go I'll try to find a little clip and put it in here <laughs> where I uh, explain it a little bit better so you can actually see the app over here we have the tablet where I'm going to be working off of and here you can see all the symbols. Over there you can see I'm at 89% and yeah, I usually pick a color that or pick a symbol that stands out to me or where I think there is most of so I can get a lot done with one color. Um, but the first few colors you really have to count and check and be careful where you place them <laughs> because otherwise you're going to mess up. So that's the most annoying part for me <laughs> of doing this cross stitch conversion. But after, you, after you've placed a few colors, it's getting easier to see where the drills need to go. Just for your reference, these are three colors, I believe. Yes, three colors that I did so far, and this took me 22 minutes. So, that's what I did the first time. I used my leftover drills for that, but um, I didn't have enough back then because I started that when I was only into diamond painting for a few months. So I obviously didn't have all the colors yet, so I ordered a few bags off of AliExpress just to get me started on that project. But if I were to do one now, I wouldn't need any, any extra drills, I believe. Um, maybe if there were a lot of the same colors in there, which I don't have, but I do have pretty much all the DMC colors now. I think I'm missing like maybe 10 max not sure um so uh, that's one thing you can do with your spare drills you can obviously also do all kinds of special projects like um making your own pens like putting the stones on a pen or on a coaster or on a candle or whatever you want to do um but that's not what i'm doing what i'm going to be doing with my spares next is doing a crown jewel canvas 
also from Heaven and Earth Design. Um, that's a canvas that is just a regular diamond painted canvas. It just doesn't come with the drills. So they give, they give suggestions on the website where you can get your drills and you can get them all in one place and they actually kit it up for you if you like as well. But my plan is to use my spares. Um, not because I'm cheap and want to save money, but just because I think that's a fun challenge and that's I, yeah, that is a fun way to, where I can use my spare drills. Um, I'm just so excited to to get the charts that I ordered because I already ordered three canvases. I'm going to pop the pictures up on the screen right now so you can see what I picked. I'm not sure which one of the three I'm going to be working on, but. Yeah, I'm so excited just to go through my spares. Look at what I need. It actually comes with a chart where you can see how many drills of each color is needed. So you don't have to start and figure it out along the way. You can actually see it before you start. Um, I'm also going to try to do a video on that when I get the canvases in and how I go about um, yeah, seeing if I have enough drills and collecting them all out of my spares. So if you're excited to see that, stick around. It will be, yeah, up when I get the canvases in. I don't have them yet. So when I unbox them and when I'm getting ready to start that project, I will try to film it. So that's what my plan is with my spare drills. I obviously won't use all my spare drills for that, <laughs> but um, I'm not planning to do another Heaven and Earth Design cross-stitch conversion in the near future because it's not my favorite process. It's not my favorite thing to do in diamond painting. I'm not going to say I'm never doing it, but not anytime soon. <laughs> so that was pretty much all I was going to talk about in this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you maybe learned something or gave you new ideas for you to try yourself. Um, I would love to know, do you also save your spare drills and for what purpose? So, I hope you liked it, as I said. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment. I love hear hearing from you. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye!